simple machines. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification bell. A machine is any device that does work. Machines make our lives easier, because they reduce the amount of energy, power, and time we need to get one thing done, by magnifying our input force. Machines are of two types. Simple machines, and complex machines. Simple machines are basic mechanical devices, for applying a force, and doing work. It helps us to do any work, with less effort. There are six basic types of simple machines. They are lever, wheel and axle, pulley, inclined plane, wedge, and screw. Simple machines were first discovered, and described by Greek philosopher Archimedes. Lever The lever is made up of a straight rigid object, like a board, or a bar, which pivots on a turning point, called a fulcrum. Levers make work easier, by using leverage, which multiplies the force. When you use a lever, you move a smaller force a longer distance, in order to lift a load a short distance. Parts of a lever Beam The physical lever itself made of materials, such as wood, metal, or plastic which can pivot, or move on the fulcrum. Effort The force that is exerted by a person, or machine on a lever. Fulcrum the point at which a lever pivots, or hinges. Load. The object that is acted on by the lever. There are three lever classes. Class 1 lever. In this class, the fulcrum is between the effort, and the load. The mechanical advantage is more if the load is closer to the fulcrum. Examples of class 1 levers are, seesaws, Boat oars, scissors, hammer, pliers. Class 2 lever. In this class, the load is between the effort and the fulcrum. The mechanical advantage is more if the load is closer to the fulcrum. Examples of class 2 levers are wheelbarrows. Nutcracker and Lemon Squeezer Class 3 Lever In this class, the effort is between the load and the fulcrum. The mechanical advantage is more, if the effort is closer to the load. An example of Class 3 Lever is, a garden shovel, tweezers, pulley, a pulley is simply a wheel, with a groove in it, and a rope in the groove. The groove is important, because it helps to keep the rope in place. Pulley is used to lift up, or lower heavy objects. With a pulley, an object to be lifted, can be tied to one end of the rope, and a force is applied to the other end, by pulling the rope downwards. The downward force, turns the wheel with the rope, and pulls the load upwards, at the other end. Pulleys are used in curtains, water well, crate and in flagpole. Inclined plane An inclined plane is simply an even sloping surface, with no moving parts. It makes it easier for us, to move objects to higher, or lower surfaces, than if we lifted the objects directly upwards. It is believed, that ancient Egyptians, used inclined planes to carry heavy stones, to build pyramids. If the slope is gentle, a person has to push, or pull the object, over a longer distance, but with very little effort. If the slope is steep, a person has to push, or pull the object, over a very short distance, but with more effort. Examples of inclined planes are, slides, and ramps. 
A wedge is simply a triangular tool, often made of metal, wood, or stone. It is thick on one end, and tapers to a thin, or sharp edge on the other end. A wedge may be attached to a handle, to make it easier to use. Good examples of wedges are, nails, knives, axes. Earlier humans, used wedges made of hard rocks, and stones to hunt, cut, and trim trees, and carve stones. The concept of wedges is also used in jets. Modern cars, trains, and speed boats. You will notice them to have pointed noses, like wedge. This helps them cut through the air. Wheel and Axle Wheel and Axle uses a wheel, with a rod attached in the middle as an axle, to help it to lift or move loads. The wheel is one of the greatest inventions in history, but it does not work without the axle. The wheel and axle work in two basic ways. Force applied to wheel. Force applied to axle. Force applied to wheel. A door knob is a great example of the wheel and axle. To open the door, we apply force to the wheels. It will be difficult to turn the axle to open the door. Force applied to axle. A ferrous wheel is an example of force being applied to the axle. When the axle turns, it results in the giant wheel turning. A ceiling fan works the same way. Anything that moves in a circle, there is most likely a wheel and axle involved. Some more examples are, wheels used on skateboards, cars, bus, bicycle etc. Screw A screw is a cylinder, with a head at one end, and a pointed tip at the other end. More importantly, it has ridges, winding around it. The ridges around the shaft or cylinder, is the thread. The distance between the threads is called pitch. Screws are very useful for holding things together. They can be used to lift very heavy objects, and tighten things too. Nail and screw are not the same. Screw has ridges around the shaft, but nail don't have ridges. It is harder to drive a screw into a piece of wood, because the ridges on the screw create a lot of friction and resistance. To drive a screw into the wood, it has to turn in a circular motion, by a screwdriver. Examples of screws are, bolts, drill bit, bottle tops, guitar tuners, screws, and bulb. Complex machines are made up of many simple machines. Complex machines, like trucks, car, or bicycles, use many moving parts. They combine many simple machines, such as, levers, pulleys, and gears to get work done. Question Time When you open the lid of a tin, with the handle of the spoon, do you know what simple machine is involved? The answer is, lever. Teeth is a simple machine. Do you know, what type of simple machine? teeth is? The answer is, wedge. Good job. For more educational videos, click here. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.